What's going on everyone? My name is Cynic and DLC 1 for Call of Duty World War 2 is finally here. Specifically the Darkest Shore Zombies map. Now in all honesty, I was extremely excited for this map to finally drop as it gave me a reason to hop back into World War 2. And I know a lot of people are either done with World War 2 or skeptical on how this DLC is. And I'm going to be creating a full on review for this map in the coming days. But for today's sake, I just want to go over my general or first impressions of the map and just the overall map design and some of the questionable decisions that Sledgehammer has made in the map design and in some of the gameplay itself. There's some things that I really think Sledgehammer overlooked and probably shouldn't have done and that's what we're going to be discussing. Nothing too crazy, all about gameplay, nothing in depth, nothing about easter eggs or nothing like that. Just strictly gameplay and first impressions. So let's start off on the good. Now I don't know about you guys but honestly I was pleasantly surprised to see a cinematic intro. Personally speaking, I wasn't expecting an introduction or any cinematics whatsoever. Technically speaking, the Final Reich doesn't have an introduction or intro cutscene. I mean, yes, we do have the prologue and that cutscene, but I consider that to be completely different from the Final Reich as that's the prologue and pretty much a tutorial. I don't know, and I guess because of that, I wasn't really expecting that with The Darkest Shore, but nonetheless, a very nice surprise. Next up, I kind of like the way the map starts. If you guys haven't played the map, then yes, this is a little bit of a spoiler, so feel free to skip ahead. Well, this video in general is, but I love the fact that you spawn on the map and then all the zombies are practically just running at you. There's also two machine gun nests, both on the left and the right, and they both work. So you can actually just hop on a machine gun nest, use the MG4, and just mow down all of those zombies without tapping into any of your own ammunition. It's also worth noting that on the same beach, they have a brand new wall buy for the M1 carbine, which wasn't a wall buy in any of the previous maps. And I believe that was the only brand new wall weapon that I noticed. I could be wrong, but it was nice to see that weapon on the wall considering I believe in the Final Reich, the only way to have the M1 carbine was to spawn in with that weapon. Now the next thing I just want to give credit to when it comes to this map is the power system. There's two forms of power. One powers on the entire map so that way you can continue to buy doors and open up the entire map as well as purchase perks. But there's also another power system when it comes to the minecart. There's a cart system in this map that you must ride in order to find all of these power cells in order to access Pack-a-Punch. Now although it's kind of cool, the minecart is a little bit of a double-edged sword considering we've seen the same thing in infinite warfare although it was in the form of a roller coaster and the rewards were different we got tickets instead of fighting power cells that open pack a punch but besides a roller coaster we've actually already seen a minecart in zombies before we've seen it inside of Treyarch's Shangri-La zombies map and one of the biggest things right now when it comes to World War II zombies is people are basically telling Sledgehammer they need to be more innovative and this is another thing that they can spin around and say Sledgehammer is being lazy and stealing ideas from other developers I think stealing is a strong word I mean definitely inspiration but I don't know I just wish that they kind of changed it up a little bit instead of just being a boring ride to point A and point B maybe take it from point A to a different area that is only accessible through the minecart you know instead of going to another area of the map and then ride back and then you know back and forth it just seems pointless I also don't like the fact that the only way you can buy a PPSH is through the minecart. It just seems so stupid. I don't know. I just don't like the idea of having to ride something and then be fast enough in order to buy ammunition or even buy that specific gun. What happens if I'm being rushed by bomber zombies as I was in this gameplay? Or I'm stuck on the other side and I'm trying to ride the cart again and someone ends up calling it. I mean, yes, and then you can pull up the argument that it really doesn't matter because you can get ammunition from the pack-a-punch machine, which is cool. And I do like that feature, but at the same time, the point still remains. I don't think there should be a gun that you would have to purchase on the ride. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just being a little picky about that, but I personally don't like that. I mean, yes, that's very trivial, but I still thought that was at the very least worth mentioning. But let's get into the more questionable things about this map. First and foremost, the map is tiny, very close quarters. And for some reason, Sledgehammer thought it was a wonderful idea to not only make this map very tight quartered and small, but they also threw in whistlings and bombers. And they even have this brand new zombie, which is a pain in the ass. Now, from my experience, this brand new zombie only shows up when the fog is active, which is a whole nother issue that we'll get into in a second but this brand new zombie has the potential to down you within two hits if you notice my health right now i'm about to run into it he ends up hitting me twice taking about 75 percent of my health and then the second hit takes the remainder and a shield if you noticed i also didn't kill him it takes a lot of bullets to kill 
and he moves fast. I think this needs a nerf because with this zombie only showing up with the fog and the fog being so thick, especially if you don't know the map that well and you don't know where you are once the fog rolls in, it's extremely easy to get lost and confused where you are. Coupled with the fact that you may run into a whistling or may even run into bombers, you don't know what's around the corner. It's very hard to see through this fog. You are practically screwed if you're not well equipped to kill this thing, especially if you're like me and don't know what the hell the weakness or vulnerable spot is on its body, then you're just gonna be burning through ammunition. And the fact that this comes in with the fog, the fog is confusing and you also don't know if you may run into whistlings or even bombers and the map being so tight cornered, it just seems to be a giant clusterfuck. I mean, the fog is bad, but I can deal with that if this brand new zombie wasn't so much of a pain to deal with. And I also feel like whistlings either need to be removed or their health needs to be capped and their movement needs to be changed. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but sometimes when you shoot whistlings and you run around a corner, Sometimes the whistlings will still run that corner too and wouldn't stop at that corner Which in the final Reich wasn't too much of a problem because you can just keep running sometimes in this map You can't really do that. It's not a straightforward run past the turn You know this map is practically just an upward spiral, but I digress at first glimpse the map is not bad It's got some brand new features Which is pretty much the fog the new zombie type which fucking sucks and the minecart They also have a brand new I guess this is the wonder weapon It's practically the smiley from Raven the Redwoods infinite warfare or the D13 from Black Ops 3. Well, however you slice it, it's still just a saw in your hand that allows you to harvest whatever the hell this is from zombies. I mean, at first glimpse, the map isn't bad, but in all honesty, I think I'm just in a honeymoon phase, and within a week or two, this map would be long forgotten. At least that's my personal opinion. There's really nothing here for me personally to keep coming back. I'm not even compelled or interested to complete this map's Easter egg. I just have no interest in it. I mean, at least that's me. I'm still playing it. I'm still trying to learn more about it. I'm gonna be providing some more videos. Like I said, a brand new review of the entire map coming soon, but this was just my initial impressions of The Darkest Shore. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Have you guys tried The Darkest Shore? What do you guys think of the new map? What do you guys think of World War II in general? Do you guys think in The Darkest Shore, the fog, whistling, and brand new zombie type need to be nerfed? You think whistlings need to be removed altogether? I've been hearing all this stuff from people, but I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comment section below. My name is Cynic. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, guys, I'll see you all later.